<laughs> Hi, I'm Taylor Smurl, <laughs> and I am finally alone. Oh God, you're back. <laughs> and uh, I'm I'm Liz June, <laughs> and this is Deep. You're the voice the whole time, aren't you? No, I'm not. Okay. <laughs> it's too hard. Uh, we continue with our Halloween episodes of Neat with some. I, we should have worn costumes, but I guess we forgot. Aw, oh, jeez, I forgot the costumes. Oh, man, Taylor, I'm, I'm, I'm real sorry. We wear a costume every day, Liz. Okay, so, uh, we're gonna stop our. Well, yours is good. I don't know about mine. Uh, I just say aw, oh, jeez, a lot. Yeah, our. That's I the just whole bit. Drink. So, okay. Uh, well, great. Let's, let's do it. So, if you've listened to our unique and exotic liquors episode, obviously a lot of that stuff we can't really get here. Nope. Um, yeah. And you know what? I'm okay with not drinking baby mice wine. I'm cool yeah, with it. That's true. So, but we are gonna make some uh, some fun drinks with some some exotic, some weird, some spooky maybe ingredients. Give me some fun, kind of silly Halloween cocktails for yeah. you. So, uh, we talked about chicho, which is made from corn, mm -hmm. maize. We're not gonna chew corn, uh, but I did melt candy corn into a syrup. That's great. Change candy corn into a liquid form. I did it with science. Oh. I just drink it. Now you chew it. Chewing is oh. for. I people of yesterday. Okay. Today we it's, drink instead of chew. It's it's like a simple syrup. Yeah. So it's literally just melted candy corn. Super easy recipe with some precautions. Will be listed down below. All right. So I want to do about half an ounce of this because it's sweet and it's thick. Then I've got uh, three quarter ounces of lemon juice, and we're gonna go with tequila for this because I don't know. This bottle has skeletons on it. Spooky. So, two ounces of tequila. It's important to taste your drinks while you're making cocktails. Even if it's not the drink you're making. <laughs> oh, that's orange. That's really I'm, orange. I'm glad you know what colors look like. <laughs> oh, jeez, Taylor. I mean, I'm just... <laughs> I'm just trying to fill out the the audio. We've got something to listen to. I mean, no, no, really. I want to encourage you. Let's go through all of them. Jeez, what, what, maybe, what color is your shirt? Let's let's show, let's let's have, make a show I of it. I want to show they, up. Maybe they couldn't see it very well, or <laughs> it is orange. And then we're gonna top it with kitty piddle. I don't know if that's a good idea. Or... It's, it's a oh. delicacy in some part of the world. Oh gosh, I don't Try it. Try the kitty piddle. Yeah, Try it. Drink the piddle. I don't want Drink to. Drink the piddle more. Do it. Do I it. Really do don't it. Want do it. To. Make me proud. Drink I, the piddle. I can't. Be your own man. Do what I say. <laughs> Tastes like pineapple. Well, this is what it is. It's pineapple orange soda that's called kitty piddle. We found this at the candy store and we thought it was a fun thing go along with our theme today. You could use a ginger beer, some sort of fruity soda for this if you wanted to. Yeah. You don't, don't use actual piddle. No. Piddle. Piddle. <laughs> All right, so for a garnish, we've got this scorpion sucker. I think this goes against my ethics, um, but all the things we'll do for a podcast. <laughs> Let's see. There you go. Can you see it? There you go. Drink up. I really don't know about this. Neither do I, actually. <laughs> actually, that's really good. Yeah? Mm hmm I, want, I don't want to get near the scorpion. No, that freaks me out. Oh, I like the cocktail. It's like good for Halloween because it tastes like candy and it's orange. There's a hair. <laughs> Whose hair was it? <laughs> oh, it was mine. It had a little, little hair in it. Oh, well, that's like a big surprise. Real, real nice. Real nice, Taylor. But hey, that's tasty, it's fruity. Geez, Taylor, would you put down the drink so we can make another thing? I can drink all day. Do I have to help you every step of the way? Do I have to tell you though. everything well, that you have to do? I don't know how to do it. I can, guess you, can you not figure it out? Can you not I'm connect the dots? I put some of this fruit in I, here. I, I gave you all the dots. You just have to, you just have to connect the dots. Okay. Well, how many more dots do you need? I don't know the measurements, you know? 
Well, you know, <laughs> I, mean, I guess there's there's measurements are for the week, and the, I'm gonna the, put uh, some some pears and apples in this giant mason jar. Yeah, that sounds great. That sounds like the thing that was cut up purposely for the drink. So I didn't just this this drink just doesn't need a field of of chopped fruit as a summoning. <laughs> it looks pretty nice though. I don't know. All right, so. For this, we're gonna make, since a lot of uh, the spirits were based out of wine or rice wine, we're gonna kind of combine the two and uh, we're gonna make a spooky fall sangria. So Liz has added some chopped pears and chopped apples. And we're gonna put this pomegranate in there too? Yeah, about half of that. Pomegranate is the fruit of the underworld. Look at that. This is really hard. I can't really be great in character and be mean. I don't think that I'm doing the voice right. I'm just kind of... I'm just kind of being an asshole. I'm just kind of being unsure of myself. <laughs> yeah, that's more than half. It's half. It's exactly half. Uh, and then... So that is a bowl of sage and gummy worms. We specifically chose the uh, sour gummy worms. They're coated in citric acid, so that's gonna actually add some of our acidic quality to our sangria. And we gotta put the gummy worms Throw in there Throw them too. in there. Every okay. last one. So we've got some fruit, some herbs, some gummies. So for our milk we talked about in the podcast, we've got some unfiltered sake. Let's get a little bit of cloudiness to this. Let's Looks go ahead like... and add all that. That's also a rice wine component. Let's put it all in there. It's milky. Then fill it up almost all the way to the top with your wine. Give me to about there. And then we're gonna top it with some orange curacao. Yeah. I hope this is good because we're making a lot of it. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I mean, three emeralds are out, everything tastes fine. Um, that looks great. Let's do six ounces of curacao. So that's three of those. All More right. No. Nope. Yeah, go ahead and top it up with a little more. Let's do the top. All right, now we're gonna let this, well, first we're gonna stir it with the appropriate tool. A pumice. <laughs> One of the many uses to improve your life. Jeez, I mean, you use this thing for everything. That's the wrong side. Oh, jeez. I had to, I had to I tell you know. how to use a spoon. I don't know what size is what. I can't tell what it's for or anything. It's not really stirring very well. It's an appropriate form. <laughs> you can never work behind an intergalactic bar. I, I don't know what I'm doing. This is, this is, you only learn this by doing. And doing it terribly. Years and years. Like making yeah, horrible decisions. So you make your first good choice. Far from there, Morty. All right. Can I use the spoon now? <laughs> this is gross. No, 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 no. How is that? Tastes like peaches. Gross. Never had this much of a gelatinous material in my mouth at once. Mm, no. All right. So we're gonna let this sit for about. I mean, the longer you let it sit, the more it's gonna marry together, but I would give it at least, like, ah, 12 hours. Overnight, ideally. So we're gonna come back in tomorrow. Bye! And by tomorrow, we mean we're just gonna time travel, because who has time for that? Well, since we've time traveled, our ice is on the... <laughs> oh, man. I'm gonna go back in time and get us more ice. Okay. Right? Back in time, I stepped on some butterflies. Might be bad. <laughs> Might be uh, real bad. Oh, uh, jeez, Rick, can that really? I mean, how can it be? What? You're, you're like, you're gonna tell me that Trump's our president right now? Yeah, I, I think that's what happened. Is that? Did you do that? Make, that's not funny. Make the drink. <laughs> it's not funny. Uh... <laughs> I like that Liz got on her soapbox about that. Like. We did not make jokes involving time travel and the inevitable possibility that we could not have had President Trump oh my crossing God. the line. <laughs> what, what, are you just gonna pour this shit? Good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> that looks good. <laughs> I'll just get some of this stuff in the oven. Yeah, scoop out some of that, that fruity, alcoholic fruit. That's. <laughs> Smallest spoon ever. Give me a real spoon. <laughs> you have so many complaints about the spoons I give you. This one's too much plumbus. This one's too small. You am handling that spoon like you cursed your mother.
It's not gonna help if I hold it more delicately. Okay, that's enough, that's fine. We forgot one important garnish anyway. Ew. No, no. Enjoy. Look at it hanging over the edge like that. Oh no, this is the drink that I made for you. Oh no. You think this is the first time for me? This, this is why the rat sass is pretty good. Or maybe because of the rat sass. I'm open for options. That's got alcohol in it. <laughs> That's got alcohol in it. That's what I like to hear. I'm so glad I could spend 12 hours making you a drink so you could state the obvious, Liz. I was saying what I tasted first. Maybe straight out the stage so you don't get leaves in your mouth. It's part of the experience. Okay. Ooh, cloudy. Give me this one. I, I drank some of it. <laughs> what, are, what are you? What are you doing? What are you doing? We have one one minute left of usable footage, and you're gonna shake a pickle in front of the camera. <laughs> wow. So my YouTube channel will never take off, Liz. Well, this has been... Neat. It's been... Who have you been? I've... I've been... Present. And I've been... A little scared and confused. But it's been super neat. Is that what we're gonna do?